But for now, we're going to head it out to Raiders training camp in Costa Mesa, California, where Mike Garofolo and Gerald McCoy are hanging out. Raiders defensive tackle Christian Wilkins, new defensive tackle Christian Wilkins joining us. You know what? When you're in the presence of defensive tackle greatness, you just get out of the way. Go ahead, Gerald. Go ahead. Go, go for it. This is, this is my guy, C. Wilk. I've been knowing him since he came out of Clemson. Uh, funny story is we actually worked together right before he was going into the draft. Uh -huh. Got some work in, got a work out in San Diego. Yep, yeah, yep, in San Diego where I was training. So that's how we grew this relationship. And I knew then just from watching him work and his personality, I said the league is going to love this guy. And where does my question is, where does all that personality come from? Because we've been seeing it since the infamous celebration at Clemson uh, you go. all <laughs> the way through to right now. Yeah. Man, you just play with so much joy, so much energy. And I, I take it from a person like me who did the mm -hmm. same, but I used to get so much flack for he's not angry on game day. Mm -hmm. He's not, you know, trying to slam guys afterwards, but you play that way, but yeah. you always smile. And you have some of the funniest sound bites we've yeah, ever yeah. heard. Where does that joy come from, and, and why are you so comfortable, like, being yourself? Yeah, uh, first of all, I appreciate you guys having me. And yeah. uh, you hit on it already, Gerald. Uh, I just want to give you your flowers early yeah. before I even I appreciate question. it, yeah. You know, one of the best to ever do it. So appreciate it, man. thank you for all you've thank done you. for the game and yeah. moving it forward. Yeah. Uh, but for me, really, that just comes from just the love of the game, just mm -hmm. the passion of the game. I mean, you know, we we grown men out here playing a kid's game, and yeah. I've had that same spirit since I was a little kid. And yeah. Now, you know, I just feel like I got an opportunity to let my life shine and just be me and not really care what people think or what people have to say and you know only people i kind of care about who got something to say are my teammates if yeah they, of course they love me if they trust me if they know the real christian everybody else gets the you know yeah. you know he's gonna hate me on game day and i'm cool yeah, with that i'm course. happy with that but i just love the playing with the old school mindset mm -hmm. and just having passion for the game and love for the game yeah. what was it about the raiders and i know free agency it's about money obviously it's a business part of thing but what was it about the raiders when you had the opportunity to come here you said that's where i want to be for the next at least four years yeah me. Um, really just what they, just seeing what they built and what they've been able to do and just the culture and just everything. It was just a gut, uh, a gut feeling decision thing for me and I just felt like this was the best place for me and just to really, uh, you know, come be a part of what they already built and we've been able to already, you know, get close as a unit, get close as a D-line, get close as a defense and stuff so it definitely feels like home already and I've been, you know, I appreciate the guys, uh, you know, just kind of welcoming me in with open arms and, you know, allowing me to just, you know, earn respect, earn their respect while I've been here so that's been really cool. And the best thing about having a great defense a lot of people don't understand it's not just the practice it's right. the camaraderie you build in the room and it starts with the leaders absolutely it starts with the play on the field but growing closer whether it's in the meal room whether it's mm -hmm. in the meeting room at the hotel you guys have a great leader in max Crosby. absolutely what has it been like being around him? Because we all see him on TV, mm -hmm. but we don't get to see the behind the scenes and yeah. watch him work. What has it been like having a guy like that in the room and actually watching him work up close and personal? Yeah, no, it's been great, and you you hit on it. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, you see guys, you know, are great players on the field on Sundays, but... Uh, you know, he's about all the right stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, he comes out here, brings it every day on the field, the way he, you know, treats his body, the way he eats, what he doesn't eat. Like, he's about all the right stuff. And, you know, and, you know, me and him definitely see eye to eye on that stuff because we try, you know, like, you know, we're almost competitive about it now yeah. too because we, we got the same mindset and we're locked in on a lot of the same things. So it's just fun just like having natural competition with each other. But he definitely does a good job leading the unit and just literally leading the team, man. I've really never seen nothing like it, especially from a defensive guy, defensive end at that. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? So that's just been cool to just be around. And, you know, um, you know, Max is just a guy who loves the game and just loves everything about ball and feels like he's born to do it, and he just exudes it every day. So yep. it's cool to be around. It's so rare in this league to have a head coach. I mean, you have former players, but to have a head coach who's so close to his playing career. Yeah. You've got one in Antonio Pierce, D'Amico Ryans as well, mm -hmm. out there in Houston. How does he walk that line between, listen, I, I know I've been in your shoes. Sometimes I didn't want to be disciplined or, yeah. or hear from the head coach, but knowing that now he's got to be that guy how does yeah. he how does he walk that line? but no i definitely just feel like just so far being around him he gets it you know what i mean he knows when to push he knows when to turns it up he knows different things about like callousing your body getting you ready to play but also understanding like you know that there might be certain times where we need you know to take care of our bodies or whatever and just just i love his energy really you know that's that's nice to get that energy and that mindset from the top down and really he just embraces us you know and and uh allows us to try to you know he, really lead the team you know he just wants to sit back and watch when it comes time to you know, go out there on the field you know he sets the mindset sets the culture sets the tone and then you know what i mean he allows us to you know us as players to to lead really from there
you guys have the champs in your division, and I'm sure they didn't need any added motivation. Yeah. There was a video that came out where there was a Patrick Mahomes jersey yeah. on a Kermit the Frog doll. Do you guys know or feel any sense of urgency now? Like, okay, it is what it is. I know how a player is going to answer because I know how I would answer. It is yeah. what it is, man. It's another Sunday. We got to go play regardless of what happens. But do you guys have a different sense of urgency knowing when that week comes up that they might have a little added motivation or he might be like, I remember what y'all did. Do you care? Does it matter? Or is it, hey, it is what it is. It's yeah. football. Yeah, uh, really just as far as that go, you know, we just move past that as a team. Yeah. And I really focus on that instance right. and whatnot. Um, but, you know, to your point, it is really another Sunday. And, you know, we got to get up for every game and if we want to be a great team we got to bring it every Sunday and you know treat really starting on the practice field every yeah. practice you know every practice like it's a game day you know what I mean and that's how you know Sundays become a lot easier if you have that mindset and approach it that way looking forward to Raiders Chiefs looking forward to Raiders everybody this year you guys are going to be a fun team and we know whoever you play uh, is going to get your best we know we're going to get your best absolutely and we better get some every week we better get the best of the mic'd up this year I want to hear it and I want to hear I want to see the, the, the towel. Go get those towels. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Don't, don't ever, be telling everybody my secret, man. I don't know why people hey, are like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I always have something, but... I know, you, know. you take it. You, you ever keep it? You ever go, I'm keeping this one. Um, Not really. <laughs> no, no, not really. Maybe grab yeah. one this year and yeah. put it in your trophy rack. The thing I love, the thing I love is that it's genuine. Yeah. It's not, whether he's mic'd up or not mic'd up, that's who he is. <laughs> that's what I love. He's really him. Yeah. Now, Appreciate having sat it. with him for a couple of minutes, uh, uh. I can agree with yes, that. Sir. Christian Wilkins, thank you very much. Wish you all Appreciate the best it. this season. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me.